What's up, guys? So Resident Evil, welcome to Raccoon City, is the new remake of the Resident Evil franchise, no longer starring Mila Jovovich. It is now starring Kaya Scordelario as the lead character, playing Claire as she treks back to Raccoon City to find out that her premonitions and thoughts about this horrible Umbrella Foundation is true, and there is a deadline. Everybody needs to escape the city before decimation. Uh, that's the basic plot of the story. I don't really know much about the games. I've played them casually. Uh, didn't get very far, but I did, so I, I you know, can't really make too many comparisons myself, even though I do have a very close friend who is a huge fanatic of the games and saw this movie and hated it because... You know, he saw it, he thought that the casting didn't match up to what the characters are supposed to look like, some of the inconsistencies with the story, the plot. And for me personally, I didn't hate the film, uh, maybe because I'm not as close to the source material, but I didn't like the movie either. Uh, I think this is a pretty throwaway film. I think that it's pretty cliched and the fact that we're running out of den deadline here and we, we, we have to, you know, beat the clock uh, sort of thing, you know, it, it all felt very uh, recycled, even though in the games, I'm sure the execution uh, is ex it's a lot better. In the film, there's really no stakes here. You never really feel uh, the threat is as, is as big as maybe it, it should be. Uh, the acting, I feel like, is, is okay. Everyone's just kind of getting through the film, you know, they're just kind of doing what they have to do. There's nothing special about their performances. Two of the actors in particular, this uh, Wesker, I believe the character's name was, he kind of gave a little over-the-top performance of points, and I just don't feel like uh, his delivery was that good. Uh, also, there's a police chief who I felt like was a little over-the-top as well. Maybe he's like that in the games, maybe he's not, but for a feature film standpoint, it didn't work for me as much. And, you know, the movie just kind of was a bit slow. It wasn't as entertaining as it should have been. Uh, there wasn't as much action and violence that they that i thought there was going to be it takes a little while for the movie to get going there's a lot to set up here with a lot of characters to set up that you don't really care about and this you know you, you get through the film and when it ends it, it just feels like you know uh, you know that was i guess not great it was it was watchable it was moderately watchable um it got a little slow at points but look, in the end of the day, Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City is not a film that I'm going to recommend. And, you know, to be quite honest with you, I was uh, kind of disappointed. I didn't know if I'd like it or not, but uh, it looked like they were taking the franchise in a good direction. And it just, you know, it just fell flat. I do think that this was better than some of the previous Resident Evil films. Uh, of course, Resident Evil, the final chapter, is a film that I absolutely hated and despised, just the editing and the complete, you know, shaky cam jump cuts, the horrible score that was just banging through your ears. The whole film was just a mess. But, uh, yeah, this here, I mean, it's, it's not that good, but it's, it's not horrible either. Uh, I'm going to give Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City two and a half out of five stars. I, you know, really hope that I would have liked it more than I did but uh, that's where we stand on this. So, guys, comment your thoughts down in the comments. Do you plan on seeing the film? Have you seen it already? What are your thoughts on it? I do plan to get out to see House of Gucci pretty soon. I would like to see it. There's a lot of mixed reviews, and I'd like to see where I stand. I do like Lady Gaga as an actress and, of course, you know, Adam Driver. Uh, so we'll see. Ridley Scott's last movie I wasn't too hot on, but I do plan to rewatch it, uh, the last duel, that is, when it comes to 4K Blu-ray, because there's something about it uh, that's sort of drawing me back, and I'm not too sure what that is. So uh, also don't forget to hit that subscribe button for, you know, reviews coming in the future and our live show, our weekly live show. We have digital giveaways and all that sort of thing. If you're new here, thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on Instagram at KingOfRises131 and on Twitter at RyanKing72. More on that in the description of this video. And guys, that's been it for me. Thank you so much for watching my review for Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City. And until next time, over and out.